reference, dude. Look at him, he's waiting for you. Okay, <laughs> who can do the best James impression from Pokemon? You. <laughs> me? Yeah. Okay, I guess it's me. Most glorious hero. <laughs> I need a, it, it's higher than oh, that. God. Let me close my window so I don't wake my parents Most up. Most glorious hero. <laughs> Most glorious hero. Thank you, the squid star I found you. I have never been confounded by the most fiendish riddle. A riddle that has vexed me for days. May weeks. It's just for my squid. How to change the ringtone of my smartphone. This interface is more notorious than my palace labyrinth. That's a of reference. Yes. <laughs> For real, you grab the prince's phone and change the ring to butts, 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 all about those butts by the booty burrows. My hero, what seems difficult to me is trivial to you. Are you you even guessed which ringto I desired? A true all-time classic from the sixth dimension. There is only one way I can repay you by bestowing upon you a superpower of your choice. I can do that. I'm the prince of another dimension. I can do all kinds of things. Bro. He's he's Ugandan man. <laughs> it is I. I got from the alternate <laughs> timelines. All kinds of crazy things besides using his phone, apparently, and he really only gives you two superpower options. <laughs> oh shit! You know what you gotta pick. <laughs> 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 you know it, and ask the wrong <laughs> yeah. Ah yes, the choice of a true gentle monster. With a wave of his magic wang, the prince imbues your ass with a boundless work ethic. By day, your ass amazes your classmates and creepy teachers. By night, it does your homework for you. All that work <laughs> makes your makes your buns super tight, you gain plus four charm. Oh, Yo, Chris is oh, charming! Yeah. Everybody choose something cool. Say your choice out loud and the rest of the players before clicking Jojo. Omicron. Shut up! <laughs> That's not cool! Take different answer now. It's your gear, survive. Okay, okay, okay. No! okay um... Death Stranding! Burger King foot lettuce. Okay, um, instead of Omicron, uh, I was joking about that, by the way. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> What is your answer, Tay? What's really- what do you find cool? Kanye West. <laughs> N-words in Paris. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stick with Death Stranding. Player Middle Gear Survive. Player orders decided based on how awesome it would be if Japan built vending machines that sold the selected things. Start debating now, okay. Tate, Tate's won! It's one. Oh, my first Burger King full. <laughs> okay, Burger King footless machines is all. Okay, Malloy's second. Because Burger King footless machines is also pretty funny. <laughs> so, Tate, Malloy. What was yours, Chris? It was Metal Gear Survive. Death. What's funny? Okay, Metal Gear. Yeah, I'll take loss. <laughs> Death, Strand <laughs> Death Stranding merch isn't that weird. Let's go. Let's go. So you sound like. Alright, library. Money. Oh, wow. I need the money. <laughs> he wants that fucking kinky mask. I do. I need to go there three times. Uh, should I not watch this so I can go on probably- No, there's like multiple routes. It changes, uh, routes every time you reload the game. Oh. Uh, is that fucking Pokemon? Yes, it is. But, man! That day you spend some time with the library PCs, managing your starter- you, Your start kicker. You decide lots of people with a sensationalist video and- Possible promises. Uh, uh. Nice. You gain plus 10,000 money, but almost everything goes to cover the cost and you keep only two money. Damn it. <laughs> Polly seems really excited about trying a reverse Romanian Wilkinson with you. <laughs> and the only thing you have to do is get the needed. Yeah, you do need to buy it. Okay, Tate, you have gone down a secret storyline. <laughs> Shit. So you need that mask before the game's over, I imagine. Which would be fine, except you have there's no multiple? idea what any of them- Oh, there's more. Multiple. Luckily, you've got a few spare minutes to try and figure this out. Oof. You do a quick search on your phone, because you assume the internet must know something about this, and it's long, and it's related to very weird sex fetishes. Hmm, nothing. While trying- While trying other keywords, you spot the coven looking- uh, You spot the coven looking over the phone. Uh-oh. The vertical. Here. The what? 
Could it possibly be they know something about the reverse Romanian Wilkinson? No. They're always bitching so much about saving the world. They would never admit that into some kind of very weird sex fetish. Maybe you're not searching hard enough. On to the next. Or maybe you're letting your prejudice blind you. There's not much more time to lose here. The solution is clear. You're tackling online searching in a very short-sighted way. You need to come up with unexpected search terms that will point you in the right direction. Use your people's skills to get the three witches to admit they know about <laughs> the first book of the and to tell the second one. You use your refined persuasion skills with the coven, which includes a technique such as repeating tell me what's a reverse Romanian Wilkinson is at the point of exhaustion. <laughs> Okay, okay, we might know what a reverse Romanian Wilkinson is. But we know because of saving the world, duh. So you'll need a penguin mask, a bag of marbles, and a kilo of guacamole. <laughs> we're, Serge Valerie, uh, we're sure Valerie was selling a penguin mask the other day. Don't think we have a kilo of guac for you. What kind of pervs do you think we are? Hmm, we totally have a bag of marbles, though. How about you keep the marbles and we never mention this again, okay? Okay, bye. Oh, epic. Nicely done. In the end, it turned out to be exactly like the old toy commercial jingle. Marbles, marbles, you never have enough. They're perfect for the blo for booby traps and for super weird sex stuff. Huh. Bro. These marbles smell funny, though. Maybe they're already used. <laughs> no. At first, you feel like that's not okay, but then again, you're about to get into some real kinky stuff, so who are you to judge? Your mind is opened and your excitement grows. You gain plus two creativity and plus one fun. Let's do this. My fun's at 17. You're really fun. My stats are so low, bro. <laughs> Look at my charm. <laughs> Just get good. Can I go to the gym? <laughs> oh, yeah, true. <laughs> that day, an epic dodgeball ma match takes place. Many people fall during the battle. You can't take any more. So your Belinda goes straight to the other team's leader and start negotiations for a truce. After hours of intense diplomacy, you commit to an agreement. What an unexpected twist. You gain plus 10 righteousness, but this game is so wrong in so many ways that you would be lucky if you could do anything with that. And plus 2 charms. Afterwards, you spot Coach ranting excitedly at- Oh, Tate will want to be this guy. Better go save them from each other. Always believe in yourself. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's <a> cool cat. <laughs> Turn the tigers But he can't be both. It's, it's true. Okay. Tate? Do you want to be the cat? Or you want someone else to be the cat? Someone else, because I'm still being Damien. <laughs> well, I'm trying to say, son. Yeah, you, that can, you can play that. The you can date that cat. <laughs> with untapped potential. I don't have gills. Then whatever you breathe with, that's what you're f full up to. My lungs. Sure, your lungs are full. Of untapped potential. Untapped. And you know what they say. <laughs> I don't. Untapped potential is is like untapped maple syrup. It just sits in your lungs where it can't go on anyone's pancakes. <laughs> what does that have to do with me creating a super special custom workout? Your potential, Damien. There's a fan fiction between these two. We gotta tap it. If you can, <laughs> you gotta tap it. <laughs> if you can design a workout that strengthens your specific skills, then, then this will still be a really dumb conversation. But it's also an opportunity for you to bond with Damien. So you suggest. Obstacle course through a burning building. It will make you your better awesomeness. An ambitious regiment of power lifting. It will make you a better hairdresser. And I'll do the top one. Yeah. Oh boy, I love. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> and I love burning buildings. It can be fun and rewarding. <laughs> you seem way too happy about this. You know what arson is, right? I don't need to know what something is to support my students' development. What a great, <laughs> what a what a great guy. Okay, I mean, I'm totally willing to take advantage of your ignorance, but just so you know, I'm going to use this as an exercise to set fire to. You don't need to explain yourself to me. 
Damien. I trust you absolutely and undyingly. <laughs> well, okay, man, I guess we're going to need some workout equipment, specifically 50 gallons of lighter fluid and a blower torch. <laughs> 50 gallons? That's a lot of weight. You sure can lift that safely when you're just starting out? Oh, don't worry. It'll be it'll very cool to become a lot later. You and Damien cackle manically as you plot to set fire to the gym. Again. Coach laughs right along with you and you get plus two fun and plus two. I just want to say that Malloy picked a fire girl. Those t him and the demon guy, they got too much chemistry. Um, sure. You're basically perfect for him. Good. Okay. Too bad I'm a too bad too bad I'm a he. Outdoors. <laughs> oh yeah, you are. You're, you're you said that you're a he. Oh yeah, outdoors. outdoors. That day during <laughs> recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. At one point, Juan, the small Mexican Latino cat, slips on a banana peel. You start to laugh at him. He asks it's you to cold. stop, but you don't. You laugh so hard at him that you somehow steal plus two fun from him. Hooray. <laughs> Juan. Sai! Whoa, it's me, Sai! Could Miranda possibly be doing this because she wants attention? <laughs> Only one way to find out. Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. I saw standing here suffering gallantry in silence. She did, and she wants, and she wasn't, but okay. I had the most tragic injustice before me earlier. This mo I was rejected from Asco's water pool team! They claimed that I wasn't mistaken about a pool was conducted underwater. Excuse me, but I was raised underwater. <laughs> How was one even supposed to play water polo without a heavily armored seahorse as a mount? How, I ask you? Perhaps I offended them when I implied they were too impoverished to afford sea steeds. <laughs> if so, what? Would I wait? Why I would love to make repa reparations. He did it, boys. Reparations. <laughs> 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 but it may be too soon for me to show my face. Would you be so kind to take them the gift of this offer to give the healing? I hate Don so much. <laughs> Awful. Oh, he's like, he's really adding to the character. I am told that peasants consider eggs to be delicacy. Um, obviously, and what would make the gesture even better is the personal touch of... Things. Yeah, ew. Looks like covered sand crabs. They'll never get this was a present from a mer prince. They can stencil card with your sincerest apologies. Instead of all their fears, a bundle <laughs> of compromising photographs. Ooh. Second one. Yes. Let's see what you can do. Oh, yeah, so bad that I'm truly making an effort to get to know them in the most personal of levels. Jesus Christ. It sounds like a robot dying. The beautiful calligraphy print, their fears in gold leaf. And I shall adorn their compromising nudes with the adorable glitter sticker. I may have been misunderstood before, but. How could anyone misinterpret this kind gesture? Take the omelette and make sure to take lots of pictures of them eating the egg so we can have all so we can all remember how generous Sack was. You have Wait, to here. eat all the With a kiss on the cheek, exclamation mark, Miranda hands you the omelette and waves you on your way. You gain plus two uh, smarts and plus one charm. I boys gotta head out. Oh yeah. Night, Alex. Night. Night. Alright. Alright, well, there's not a lot of places for me to go, so I'm gonna go to the bathrooms, because, uh. Hope uh, you get an STD. I'll get 10 boldness. That day you skip class, you skip class attending to spend, ta spend the term in the bathrooms. But you encounter three wild hyenas on the way there. Who the fuck runs security here? Anyway, you subdue them with the help of a hair comb. God bless the monster scouts and all their idiotic scenarios they prepared you for. By the time you get to the bathrooms, you totally gain plus two boldness. You're wandering about the hallway reading Dragon Heat, discreetly oh, yeah. as you can. Which, uh, which apparently isn't very, because Polly and Vera clock this immediately. Uh, are you actually reading erotic fanfiction about dragons? 
Because we love Dragon here. I'm all about 19th century Russian literature. But a ghost girl can't say to some erotic fanfic, am I right? <laughs> I've literally been working on my... <laughs> Morgana. <laughs> Morgana from <laughs> Restrict Cosplay. <laughs> don't worry about why. For the self poly. I don't. I've never... Okay, fine. I may read Dragon Heat, but don't go around just seeing people. We're clearly safe with them. A fellow dragon file can always be trusted. <laughs> Anyone into one. Dragon Heat must have a wicked mind. 297 chapters in counting, and it still manages to amaze me with all new levels of wrong. Yeah, right? I fucking love it. Yeah, I must admit, I'm a bit vanilla when it comes to fave, ch fave chapters. Mine is the one where oh. Harold McDonghard horrors, ho horrors the oh, Hydra yeah. and the deranged Draco Delacourt have the rest at an inn after the Choking Bay adventure. Only to discover they have just oh. one available bed. I know where this is going. There's only one bed. The classic fanfic trick that never fails. Ah, yes, that one was good. I personally prefer the one where Vanessa Nesteria unmasks her mass savior after a passionate kiss only to discover it's herself. Oh. And they totally bang. Hell yeah. I'm a fan of time travel, but sign me up for some good self -sess. That's some of the good shit. Amen. What about you, Ego? What's your favorite story art? Don't worry about it. You'll just be revealing your inner kinks to pressure. Yeah, no pressure at all. Easy, the Sex Scalibur arc, where they want to discover the chosen one who can control the mythical Sex Scalibur dildo, and they have a super orgy so everyone can have their turn with the dildo. What about the exclusive chapter I've written myself? Holy shit! <laughs> Dumb. What? Let me see. Vera takes the pages from your hands and they both start reading. They devour your piece of art in mere seconds. Oh. Yeah, boo. This is wonderful. So full of twists. Harold or unsettled for me. Betroffed. Betroffed? Yeah, betroffed. Yeah, betroffed to the oh, end of Queen Rose Queen. Rose Queen. <laughs> It turns out that the activity wasn't due to marrying his mortal enemy because he didn't know if he could please the most sexual dragoness of the eight kingdoms. It's so nice that they show him, that you show him so vulnerable. So he goes and sticks his dick in a pie to practice. Classic! But then, oh no, the magic properties of his dick grant the pie life equals mind blown! <laughs> it's a hashtag, not Time. equals. Oh fuck. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> moment, it was a cheap trick for comedic purposes. Then he went all in with a love triangle between Howard the Queen and the Pie. Just absorbed your boldness there. The level of depth in the emotions. I never expected from a fanfic from a fanfic. Also, sick sick tons of pie sex. That pie really knows how to use its pie hole. Oh. Ego, here is the of 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 cheap erotic dragon fanfic, <laughs> sweetheart. You should post it. You'll be kind of AO3 in no time. You'll be king. Of in no time. <laughs> this is fine. Archive of our own. Cool. Yes, a brilliant deviant mind is definitely arousing. Fuck yeah, it is. Maybe someday you could write an erotic play for us to enact, if you know Ooh. what I'm talking about. <laughs> Oh no, Polly. Sure. Just letting you know, I'm getting in with everyone. Suck my dick. <laughs> Six skills in fanfic bad. writing. The obscure skill from impressing your classmates. Here you go. Plus two smarts and plus one boldness for you. That weekend. Something happened to... Tate again. Me again. That weekend you find Scott gazing lovingly at the at a pickle. A sad look in his eyes. 
Oh, hey, bro. Pitbull maybe you can Rick. help me. <laughs> Shut up. Make a really tough choice. See, I really like Ego, but I'm not sure I can commit yet because I also really like this pickle. Look at it. It's so green it's and Rick. warty and exactly the right size for a pickle. It's got this eye and some drool coming out of its mouth. Ego is such a good person, but this pickle is such a good pickle. I can't choose. <laughs> Won't you help me? Tate. 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 Mm -hmm. What? It's you. Tate. Tate, pick the top one. You can make out with ego while also top having one. a pickle. It's fine. Are you telling me you'd just throw away this pickle for a chance with ego? A pickle like this only comes along once in a lifetime. Dude, you fuck me over. I want that wolf boy. <laughs> I can really screw you over here. I need it's fine. I got my dragon heat. <laughs> okay. Uh, the first one. Thank you. No problem. You're telling me I can have this pickle and go out with Ego? But Coach always says you can't have your pickle and eat it too. Wait, are you saying that if I go out with Ego, I don't have to eat the pickle? Well, yes, that's the true thing. You have no idea why he thought he would have to eat the pickle. Unbelievable! All this time I thought I was really in a pickle! But it turns out the pickle was oh inside me all along. <laughs> or, I mean, outside of me, but it, it doesn't need to be in- You get the point! It is really simple. Way simpler than Scott's making it out to be. Uh, then you gotta get between a werewolf and his pickle. You gain plus three charm. Let's hell. trade places! Everybody choose a food, so your choice are like McDonald's uh, nuggets. No, Wait. the Domino's New York arranged pizza. You stole my joke, but I've said nuggets. Any food, uh, it doesn't need to be faster if you guys just McDonald's nuggets. Pick your food, uh, no. <laughs> Red Rooster <laughs> Burger! Uh, what a meal deal. Hungry yeah. Jack. My orders decide based on how powerful the energy drink. And okay, McDonald Nugget energy drink. I'm out. The New Yorker range pizza. <laughs> that just would, sounds how that would energy. Drink. Now you see Tate's speaking to me because he's using my meme. <laughs> so I have to pick <laughs> Tate. <laughs> but Tate went first like last time, didn't he? And <laughs> he can't okay. be. What about something with the name Sipna? Pitch to me your ideas, because Tate's in the lead okay. so far. Alright, Hungry oh, Jack. As a stunning meal, it's nuggets, know. it's a burger, it's an like, and an ice cream. All blended together. Okay, well, mine was yeah. a Red Rooster burger, so I mean, we just um, got a deep, we got to blend up some um, chickens and roosters into a concoction, and then you know we add we add some monster in that because you know we have some monster in the fridge, and then we just what? put the um you know the blended chickens in with the monster, and we get boom, roost. Ru monster. <laughs> I was okay. Sorry, my my gets that because of the way he the way he pitched that to me. <laughs> All right, so you two now fight because I can't put myself in second unless everyone else wants me to be second. I'm second. Go away. No, shut up. <laughs> so debate, okay? Debate. McDonald's nuggets I... blended, right? Uh... Just think about it, right? You can dip nuggets in milkshake, but you can have a nugget as a milkshake, and you can dip the milkshake uh, in the nuggets. I have to go with Tate. Okay. Two <laughs> Lorca is too powerful. It's true. I'm gonna vote for me third, because <laughs> fuck you, Tate. <laughs> okay, we just got a couple more days and we're done. Or days and he turns. Alright, Malloy, where you going? Oh my gosh. Um, what do I need? Uh, you're doing pretty alright. I guess charm's the only thing you got down. Yeah, can I go to the gym again? I... You said you could- you said I could do my stream with you. That day an epic dodgeball match <laughs> takes place. At one Sorry. point, you're about to be eliminated by a player from the other team. But suddenly, you convince him not to throw the ball at you with a heartfelt speech about the importance of everyone's lives. The player bursts into tears and you take advantage of the moment of weakness, throwing a ball at him. You lose 5 Mercy, a stat that might be useful in Monster Prom's sequel, but it isn't now, and you gain plus 2 charm. Yeah. 
after dodgeball, you after dodgeball comes to the obstacle course, you start across the gym. At, you stare across the gym at it, terrified, as are most of your classmates. There are giant centipedes, venomous no. bears, bloodthirsty magpies circling just under the ceiling, and animals so bizarre one can barely find words to describe them. Magpies, holy shit! <laughs> All right, Claire's of important this special That's from what? regularly so created creatures high school new, new south wales australia hell oh, yeah i'm not dating the furries it's okay yeah you're dating furries he's gone for the ghost he's in a necrophile yeah i'm going for the ghost girl what new south wales australia <laughs> 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 don't be afraid <laughs> In each and every one of you, these terrifying creatures will not break your will. The furries, the terrifying. I will not let you down, Coats. Giant crocs don't scare me. This is not pee on my pants. <laughs> Giant croc cock. <laughs> oh. Alright, take on. Do your ASMR from your girlfriend? <laughs> what? Do your chill voices from your girlfriend? <laughs> oh, finally, work the adversaries. What's the abomination? <laughs> That would oh, be shit. Platypus. <laughs> Platypussy. <laughs> I'm gonna drag it to hell. The underworld has never seen such horror. Well, don't just stand there. Show them what you got. Clear the course. <laughs> right, Dom. We've got to go, native. Mates, oi, hold my beer. Whoa, have a look at them. They're so cute. Let's slay them with kindness. Um, that was so well. That that bottom one is 100% wolf boy. Yeah, no, nah, I won't go to the top one. You want that demon? <laughs> you grab your trusty Bowie knife, slam a six pack of fosses, and wade into the obstacle course. It know it's so well. You smashed arm platypi, fend off magpies by whipping them with snakes and and punch a koala. <laughs> Holy shit! After winning an arm wrestling <laughs> match against a drunk crocodile, you instantly become a hero. Well, that was awesome. You even made a croc cry. You made the coach cry. It's tears of joy. The will Perfect. of youth really did find a way. Damien sees it too. <laughs> I'm not crying. It's just so much murder. Your glorious slaughter of endangered animals will go down in history. You gain plus two fun and plus one bonus. And a lawsuit for Greenpeace. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, Tate, your Let's choice. Go. I want money, so take me to the library. You bitch, I want money. <laughs> that day you spend some time in the library's PCs, mining some bitcoins. This is supposed to have something to do with solving algorithms and the rise of cryptocurrency. But you guess that nobody actually has any fucking idea how it works. Anyway, you gain plus two bitcoins, which is equal to two million dollars. Which unfortunately is equal to two monster dollars. So plus two money. <laughs> <laughs> Let's <laughs> laugh, kiddo. Later, you see Polly floating around her ghostly glow, oh, less ghastly than usual. Oh, hey. uh, oh, by the way, Tate, I, Tate, I think yeah, you need eleven but... money for that penguin mask. I'm literally getting money for a penguin mask, so I can. I'm just hovering a little. Everyone seems so hyped about love. I thing love being hyped, girl. but I'm not really sure how this love thing works. You know. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I was in love once. I met a beautiful girl at a party and felt this strange Yo, magic. Lesbian. My temperature rose. That's the wrong rose. <laughs> <laughs> ain't it? I'm pretty sure ain't it? I felt oh, even floatier oh, than you. Everything was so bright and beautiful. I was ecstatic. But then There's I was a lot of Malloy talking in this game. I had taken literal <laughs> ecstasy. So it was. Probably just that. Classic mistake, am I right? <laughs> I've, had, I've had some pretty good highs, but they yeah. say being in love is the greatest high of all. The next time I'm on a date with someone, what can I do? What can I do to fall in love? Or float in love, since gravity doesn't actually affect me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, you don't want Polly to float in love with another person, but you like Polly just too much to not help her despite the coincidence consequences. Scientifically speaking, people fall in love faster when afraid. 
do something fun with them, like getting stabbed. <laughs> That's true. They're deeply in their eyes for 14 hours. What do you think she likes, dude? One. No, you're not smart enough. Where are done. I might go great point, I love science. I mean, I don't, but I love it when it gets me drugs or gets me laid. Ooh! <laughs> loved, not laid, loved, in love. With that, Polly disappears, literally, to begin her quest for the terror that is love. She catches up to you a few days later. There you are, my I guess what? Your plans uh... I met this super cute human.